The dynamic between Beverly and, and Genevieve is so beautiful. It's so beautiful and warm and loving and, and you really do feel that. Uh, Genevieve involved with both of them together I think is very complicated and, and quite toxic and complex and uh, tricky to navigate for all involved. I'm so excited to talk about the show. Um, <laughs> but first, I have like a fun-ish question. Sure. So if you found out today you had an identical twin, what would be the first thing you would do with them? My first thought is I, I well, now you said that I have to, I'm now seeing them so that I would probably be terrified to do that. But now that we're hanging out, I'd probably just want to, I'd probably just want to sit together and like stare at each other for a while, holding hands. <laughs> And, and touch faces, like very, um, uh, what's it called, hook, like when, when Robin, Robin Williams and, and like the, the, the yeah. there you are, Peter, like that's, yeah, it's a very frightening thought. Thank you. Okay, we're in. All right, let's do Good, this. Let's go. <laughs> So beyond identical twins, mm -hmm. what was it about Dead Ringers that kind of like spoke to you, made you want to join the show, really piqued your interest here? Everything about the show piqued my interest. The team, the writing, uh, the subject matter that we were tackling. Yeah, it was, I mean, how could you not want to be a part of this incredible show with impeccable people? Your character Genevieve, her relationship with, with the twins, but Beverly obviously in particular, is an interesting one. So mm. I was curious how, um, how you would define their dynamic in your own words. I would define their dynamic as toxic. And uh, <laughs> no, I think, well, the dynamic between, oh, it's so tricky because the dynamic between Beverly and and Genevieve is so beautiful. It's so beautiful and warm and loving and, and you really do feel that. Uh, Genevieve involved with both of them together I think is very complicated and, and quite toxic and complex and uh, tricky to navigate for all involved. And you know, obviously, you work really closely with both of the twins. So what was it like watching Rachel kind of like play two characters? Like, how was that process? Like, I feel like everybody always asks the person who's playing the twins, but not the people who are watching the actor playing both of these characters. <laughs> watching Rachel switch and playing both of those characters was the most incredible thing. It was... Uh, I mean, the fact that she, I'm speechless thinking about it because when we were on set, everyone was just so enamored by it, how effortless it was and how she could also just switch back to being Rachel and have a conversation with you about, about you know, like crystals or, or how the day is going. Um, it was so admirable and yeah, I'm still beside myself about it. Definitely, Clearly. totally understandable, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally understandable. <laughs> Um, I've got one more question before I go. Um, I also loved you in Umbrella Academy. Is there any way we're going to see you return in season four? Oh my gosh, we shall see. I hope so. That would be so much fun. <laughs> Amazing. Well, it was a treat to see you in Dead Ringers. Hopefully we'll see you in Umbrella Academy. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank it was a you. pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much, Graham.